Hi everyone, great to be with you again. Um, we've been looking at the story of Jesus walking on the water in John chapter 6. And although we've been following John's account, I want to just pop over to Matthew's account today uh, because John misses out a little bit, which is actually quite significant. So we're going to look at Matthew chapter 14, verses 28 and 29. And they say this. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. I love this part of the story. I love the fact that Peter's reaction to seeing Jesus uh, standing on the water isn't just, wow, that's weird, I didn't know he could do that, but goes so much further. It leads him to think, I want to do that. And when he articulates that thought, Jesus' response is, yes, come on, come and do it. Now, we all know, don't we, that walking on water is the most preposterous thing imaginable. It's just basic physics that we can't seriously expect to walk on anything that's in a liquid state. Whatever substance that be, might be, whether it's water or some other kind of liquid, will always be displaced by our own weight. But that didn't stop Peter from asking Jesus to help him do it. The only thing that's really surprising is that the entire boatload didn't ask to have a go. Perhaps they were just waiting to see how well Peter did first. But isn't this a great story of encouragement? You ask Jesus to help you to do something amazing and he says, yes, let's do it. Now please don't think that I'm saying for a moment that any of us can go out and walk on water because physics still works by the normal rules most most of the time. But you can do amazing things when you have Jesus saying to you, come on, let's just do this. Peter trusted Jesus. He trusted him with his life. And whilst this might have felt like the weirdest adventure ever to him, you can guarantee that he would never forget that experience, the things that happened on the sea in that stormy night for the rest of his life. Out of the 12 people who were on that boat, he was the only one who could say, I walked on water with Jesus. I overcame my fear. I defied the laws of physics and did something that could only happen under the power of God. What an amazing testimony to build a ministry on. Let's pray. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I want to do that. I want to, to have a ministry, Lord that is stretched and extended by the amazing things that you call us out into. So I pray, Lord, that as we offer ourselves to you today and ask you to call us out on the waters, that you would hear our cry and stretch out your arms to draw us into the wonders of your heavenly realm. Take us out of our places of comfort, Lord, and lead us into new and exciting adventures with you. I pray, Lord, that you bless us with absolute trust in you that you'd use us to glorify your name in all that we do. So I pray, Lord, that you'd pour out your spirit upon us all today. We ask in your name. Amen. Have a great day.